Hello and welcome to another episode of SoFly. It is uh, Halloween, actually, which is awesome. And uh, this show's coming out November 1st, which is tomorrow. So this is a fresh off the presses recording. Uh, we're back recording another episode. We've got myself, Mitch. We've got Aldo. Hey, everyone. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. We've got Yilma. Should, should I have dressed up for today? I think I should have. You mean you're not dressed up right now? <laughs> what? Oh my God! Slam! Um, <laughs> if you're watching or listening to this, check it out on YouTube. You can see Yilma's costume. Um, <laughs> He's we a are <laughs> we're super excited today to be chatting with somebody we met recently on a, a fishing trip to Montana. Aldo and I we met uh, a wonderful angler who we've got on the show today. Mario Gale was born and raised in the big city of San Jose, California. Uh, Mario describes himself as an old techie nerd, skateboarder turned fly fishing guide. Uh, he now lives in the Sierra Nevadas, running a clothing and fly fishing outfitter called. Taco Fly Fishing Company, or simply Taco Fly Co. Uh, Mario guides out of the Trinity River for Steelhead from fall to spring, and then moves over to guiding on the lower Sacramento River in Plumas County, California, in the summer months. Uh, but he started Taco Fly, Fly Co., his own brand and outfitting service, uh, all in an effort to help make fly fishing more inclusive and fun and less monochrome. Uh, from beads to El Caddis or Hobo Spays, Mario loves it all. Apart from being a total Steelhead junkie, He's also a special beers connoisseur, which we will talk about, uh, and of course loves tacos. Uh, all these things wrapped into one make for one hell of a special person, and we're super excited to have him on the show today. Uh, Mario, welcome to Soul. Yeah, well, what's up, boys? Thank you for having me. Super stoked. <laughs> we're stoked. And I like and I like, so and I like to your be able uh, to chat over the podcast. Your costume, Yilma. It's a sick costume. Like we discussed earlier, you, you dressed up like a Norteño. <laughs> 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 it's awesome i love it i appreciate you it. get you um, get the you, mario where are you calling in I'm from today? i'm actually calling in from um uh lewiston california out here at the steelhead shack so this is my quote-unquote second home um my where i live is in quincy california and uh so this is basically about three hours away from my home where my beautiful lady is at and my cute dog and my warm bed and right now i'm out here working so I'll be uh, at the Steelhead Shack for the next three weeks. Uh, no, no power. Well, I have power, obviously. Uh, no running water. Um, well, <laughs> there's a hose outside connected oh, to shit. a uh, sink, and there's no pooper. So my poopers are actually holes I make into the forest. <laughs> so this is the Steelhead Shack. <laughs> so, yep. What a situation you got up there. That's awesome, man. Can, I love it. Do you mind? I know the internet sometimes is a little laggy for us, but maybe we need a little. Oh, tour? A little bit of a okay, tour yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, Let's check it out. So, look around. first off, you see the rafters here. So, it's actually called an abarnment, not an apartment, an abarnment, and it's connected to a barn. A, nice, <laughs> yeah, it's connected to a barn. Um, so I installed these lights just recently. Uh, this has been a work in progress for like three years, guys. Here's my new kitchenette right here. Look at that. That used to just be a plastic table. Oh, oh yeah, that's legit. We upgraded. Here's my kitchen here. Stove. Got the uh, refrigerator, the sweet ass sticker on there. Damn. Um, and then, nice. yeah, and here's the <laughs> hey, fly fisher. <laughs> here's the bed, here, you know, and then here's the closet over here. Nice. And uh, here's the outside, you know, got the forest out there. There's cougars and and uh, oh, yeah, wow. I saw a cougar just oh, wow, down the street man. the other day, and you know, I got my fly fishing <laughs> stuff. I got my camera storage. This is the electronic section. Dang. And then here's the office, dude. Oh, yeah. So what a sweet setup you got there, like in Steelhead country. Yeah, too. that's freaking. Awesome. Oh, dude, there's Steelhead in my in like in the yard in my backyard, actually. <laughs> yeah, crazy. it's really cool. That is crazy, dude. It's oh, like Joel's God. place. It's cool, man. I love that. So basically, you're like posted up here for the next little bit because you're going to be guiding it. Yeah, this, uh, like this spot. is like Trinity River is where you know I say is like my primary place of guiding uh trinity river is where it all started it's where i fell in love with fly fishing and um yeah once the steelhead season starts kind of in fall it goes through early spring i'm out here most primarily taco flyco was based upon steelheading on the trinity river so this is like my home and um I, this is the place I, I think i'm gonna always try to guide no matter what like as long as i'm able to row a boat down a river um this is where i'm gonna be for sure 100 percent Oh yeah, that's yeah, awesome, man. That's, that's wicked. So, how how's the fishing been recently, like in your? Area? Oh, dude, it's been good. So it's fall. Um, we have uh, salmon coming up the river right now. Uh, basically, in my backyard, 
um, salmon started showing up a lot more over the last week. Uh, two weeks ago, there was not as many in this stretch. Now there's a bunch of salmon. Obviously, the steelhead fall of the salmon. Um, so in fall, we get like a lot of the smaller fish that are anywhere from 18 to 24 or 25 inches. There are really big fish that do show up this time of year. But um, yeah, it starts now and it goes until basically uh, spring, uh, March, mid-March is when they start spawning on beds and we leave them alone. But uh, in uh, January and February and then early March, that's when the big wild ones come in. So it's a really cool fishery, man. It's awesome. And I'm actually like, oh, baby. dude, I, I, I don't have a lot of people that I would allow to sleep in my place, the Steelhead Shack. It's usually just like really close homies. I would love to have you guys here. We would have a blast. <laughs> you guys can sleep on the floor for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That'd be oh, awesome. you guys would love it. Super it's fun. cool. I launch, I'm I, down. Launch, I launch in the backyard. My boat's actually on the beach right now outside. What? Yeah, it's cool. Jesus. Oh man, that's yeah, really cool. That yeah, we really love that. Trinity's beautiful. Lucky. Yeah, I'm. I'm blessed, man. I'm. The journey to get here has been pretty insane. It, it, it's insane. Uh, it's how I've ended up here. Um, I owe a lot to the lady who owns the property here. She's actually here right now. Um, there is an Airbnb on this property, so we do. I do have my clients rent that out, or it's just rented out from randoms who come up here. Nice. But uh, yeah, she she's the one that made it all possible, man. So I am blessed. Very blessed. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet Amazing. setup. And uh, Mario, you just got back from uh, a trip out to Alaska as well, right? Yeah. Like how how oh, was that? Because we saw you right before Epic. that. How, how was uh, Amazing. Uh, this was my second hosted uh, trip to Alaska. It was awesome. Um, all of that too is like, it's all of my, my fly fishing journey has been like pretty organic and kind of like written for me in this like, you know, weird destiny that I just fell into. And I met these guys out there and I met my buddy Brandon um, on Instagram. He started following Taco, and he's like a younger cat. He grew up skateboarding, and and I grew up skateboarding. So there was just like I was like, "Hey, man, I want to come out to Alaska." This is five years ago. He's like, "Sure, I'll host you." And he's way younger than me. He's like, I think like 16, 18 years under younger, younger than me. Um, so he's a young cat, and went out there, met yeah. him, and then I met a guide out there on some random river, and we all became really good friends and we made our own thing. And, uh, so we have our own hosted trip out there. I drive a shuttle van around. It's sick. We all load in a giant van and we go and bounce around the Kenai peninsula and just have a blast, dude. Uh, it was a long recovery from that trip. It was a lot of fun, <laughs> a lot of fun. Good times. Yeah. I bet, man. Uh, and that's just rainbows, like big rainbows or steelhead or both. Uh, so the trip is sort of designed around the Kenai River. Um, there is another steelhead river out there, which I don't say over the airwaves, but there is one. You can Google it. People can find it. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Right. Uh, I do abide by that rule for that place. Yeah. But uh, we, we do go out there focusing on rainbows first, primarily. Um, there's. Uh, two separate parts of the of the Kenai River that we focus on, the upper river and the middle river. Um, the middle river is where the big giants live, mm -hmm. and then the upper river is where there's like more numbers, and then we do go steelheading. So the trip was three weeks this year. Um, the first week was primarily trout. Um, there's also dollies around, uh, and then the river itself changes like weekly. So this is a pink year. Every other year, pinks come in, um, pink salmon, that is. And mm -hmm. so when there's pink salmon, they're really, really – um, keyed in on on eating eggs so it starts with that and then it turns into like a flesh bite or swing bite dalai lamas um and uh yeah so every week changes of uh, the last week was the quote-unquote steelhead week so that's where we go to the steelhead river two times that week um so we're spending more time chasing those uh coastal steelhead um it was awesome this year man uh the lodge we got was killer i brought my best friend out josh who uh, is used to be a chef in his previous life. Uh, he loves fishing. He, and he's kind of just like being a farmer up in Oregon and runs the books for these restaurants, but he came out and so he cooked us food. So the whole thing is just basically you jump in my van and I drive you around the peninsula and we feed you food and you go fishing. It's awesome. It's really fun, dude. Yeah. It's a good time. A lot of big fish too. Sounds, sounds super fun. Sounds fucking Yeah, dude, awesome. it's really fun. Yeah. It sounds it's fun. so fun. And, you know, I, I, I feel like it's um, like, a, um, 
like a skate trip, dude. Like it's, that's kind of how I wanted it to be. I used to do a lot of skate tours, you know, and um, Mm -hmm. go with friends in a van and just bounce around, you know, Uh, obviously we're staying in a lodge. It's not like we're sleeping on the floor of a hotel room, but um, it's kind of like that. It's cool. It's got a good, it's got a good Mm -hmm. vibe to it. Well, that's cool. I mean, I like how you're talking about, you know, like back in the skate days, maybe we jump back and just start from the beginning of your story and like talk about, how you got into fishing, um, where your life kind of went from there with the skate, and then like you know h- how you got into guiding. Let's let's go right okay, to the cool. beginning. Okay, cool. How did you, how did it all yeah, start? Yeah, um, so I'm a fishing junkie, man. Number one, like my whole life, everything has always been revolved around fishing. My dad got me started when I was a little kid, five years old, throwing bobbers with night crawlers for uh, bluegill down the street. So my dad's from Mexico, and my dad, when he came to the U.S., he came when he was like nine years old. Mm-hmm. He fell in love with the outdoors. Um, and wanted to share that with his kids, you know? So, uh, he, we moved to some, some spot in the South Bay area called Morgan Hill. That was close to these reservoirs. Um, really beautiful area of the South Bay too, because the Bay is so big. It was just right outside of the Bay area. And, uh, that's where I started. And I mean, I was a little kid who was crying because we had to go. He'd be like, it's time to go home. And I'd be like, you don't want to go, you know? So I, I've been like that. I still cry guys. No, I don't, but I actually, I think I did actually the other day I was like, I was on the river and I'm like, it's coming to the end. And I kind of dropped a tear and I was like, damn, it's over. I got to go home. So, um, that's where it started. And then, um, you know, fishing in general was surrounded around like, you know, spinning, casting, bass fishing, bass fishing was my life forever. I did bass fishing tournaments and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, was interested in fly fishing through seeing it through like a magazine or something like that. But I'm from the Bay area. So the Bay area is one San Jose is 1 million people, man. I mean, you can't drive, you got to drive like three hours to get out of suburbia. You know, it's just giant. So I didn't, my dad didn't fly fish or anything, but, um, you know, I saw a river runs through it and, uh, that was like my first exposure to fly fishing, dude. Um, I actually was the kid that would wake up at like five thirty in the morning to watch bass fishing shows. So it wasn't like there was fly fishing shows on to expose me to it. So when I saw that movie, I went and knocked on my neighbor's um, house and they basically told me um, they would, they would teach me how to do it. So they showed me how to tie flies. They took me to, um, uh, well, actually Mas Fujimoto. He, he was the one that did it, that showed, showed it to me. He was the fly fisherman. Um, and they were cool, man. These guys were, Kind of like um, there was there was three Japanese brothers. One was a, f- a fly fishing like OG steelheader. Um, was a was a really well known fisherman too in the South Bay. And what was cool too is he's Japanese. And then he lived with his brothers. Um, they introduced me to it. Right. So um, that's how it st- kind of started. Uh, and then I stepped away from it, and I never really like. I bought a fly rod and I had fly rods around cause it was just another form of fishing I wanted to learn. And then, um, yeah, man, fast forward mm-hmm. many, many years. And I finally caught a steelhead on a fly rod and dude, it, it changed my whole life. <laughs> everything, everything, man. So yeah, mm-hmm. fishing was always number one. Then there was skateboarding and that was like, that was, right. that was my other thing, man. I was a, skateboarding junkie from 13 years old until I pretty much snapped my ACL when I was 35. So, um, I, I'm beat oh, up. Shit. <laughs> oh. It hurts, man. I, I got built. Bill yeah. Strong. Oh, yeah. last long, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, kind of a lot to unpack there. I was just going to say really quick. Uh, it's funny now watching like YouTube and stuff. You see all these old, like, all the old, like, Walker's K Chronicles and all those, like, Saturday morning shows. And it was all these saltwater dudes fly fishing. And you're like, I'm like, where was that? When I was, you know, I'm like, I love Bill Dance. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating. I love Bill Dance. But, like, <laughs> so, they're so but, like tight. you know, the flip, flip palette shows and the, they're so <laughs> tight. But, like, the, the you know, the Spanish fly and all those awesome Spanish shows. Spanish fly. Those were around sick. when I was yeah, 10, yeah. 9. Spanish fly yeah. was amazing. And it's like, we didn't get those shows in mm. Canada anyway. And it doesn't yeah. sound like you weren't getting them on the West coast either. So I was like, 
it's just too bad because I think we lost a lot of inspiration there. Because oh man, awesome they were shows. so cool. I, I was gonna. S- sorry, Yoma. No, I'll yeah. talk after you, Aldo. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you remember your first fish on the fly? Yeah, uh, it was a bluegill. Uh, we were fishing Calero Reservoir, and I had. I had a uh, nice. Claro Reservoir is this reservoir that's just right outside of the south side of San Jose. Um, and I had like a like a Fenwick fiberglass rod that my neighbor had given me and uh, just like a little dry fly and uh, was out there. I remember I, – and you know, no one's actually really – I've never been asked that question before, man. Seriously, out of all these years. And it was a small – it was a bluegill. And the, dude, they, they were everywhere ripping on these dry flies and – I remember when I was a kid doing it, you know, I was addicted to bass fishing. Um, catching that bluegill was my yeah. first blue was my first fish on the fly. Yep. Yeah. That's a cool first fish. On I the fly, love right? that's that's a very cool. Like trout, and we're yeah. used to like yeah. Oh, me too. In a reservoir, so cool. you know, love like a, a reservoir mm-hmm. in San Jose, like right outside the city limits, and yeah, man, super cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's awesome. That's yeah. pretty rad. So yeah. I, I just want to figure out why we keep meeting ex skateboarders <laughs> or ex surfers or snowboarders that are into fly fishing. There's gotta be some sort of, you know, correlation to the the coolness of it. I don't know what it is. It could be the wardrobe. <laughs> could be I It's don't definitely know, not the wardrobe because I you I mean, know I don't... the the fly fishing Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I think I I mean, the, the waiters do dude, get a little baggy so, sometimes. So, you know, that's that's part of why I made Taco, too, is when I got into it, I was like, God, dude, I go into a fly shop to go get some gear, and it's just like, ugh, you know? I couldn't wear it. So that's why I started Taco, the, the, the clothing yeah. brand. Um, I think the correlation, man, is because, mm-hmm. I, I, you know, surfing is – I was just talking about surfing last night with somebody and how difficult it is. And I grew up skateboarding, and, like, I mean, to learn a kickflip, it was like – dude, like a five year challenge, you know, five years of constant where you, you're, you're, you're trying over and over and over and over. And I mean, I could keep saying over and over again to, to learn this technique, you know, to learn this thing, to, to improve this skill. It, it, it's not easy. It does come easy to some people. Um, but it's very hard. And, and, and I think yeah, that's but... why it's like, once you get older, um, and, you know, you, you grow, not grow out of it, but I think it's the challenge. Fly fishing is hard. And I feel like it's always one of those things too in yeah. fishing compared to the other types of fishing that I've done. You are always learning. So in skating, you're always trying to like, I want to learn a heel flip now. I learned a kick flip. I want to learn a nollie kick flip. I want to learn a nollie heel flip. So you're constantly adding on top of your trick, your bag of tricks and, I feel like fly fishing is very comparative. It's very like, there's always something new to learn, man. And so our brains growing up Mm -hmm. doing that. Um, it's, I think it's, that's, that I feel like is like the, the correlation with the, the, the passion of, of doing skating and surfing and also it's low impact. So (laughs) it's like, um, Mm -hmm. you know, you get, you get hurt, you get older. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, yeah. I've got uh, pains, you know, and uh, there's pains that are they're getting worse every year, and it's from skating. And so, like, obviously, I want to be able to challenge my brain, and fly fishing's just really helped with that. So, yeah, yeah. All, yeah, all aspects. yeah for sure, all yeah, aspects for sure. Mm-hmm. No, it's it's true, y'all. That's a good point. Like, there there is a, like there is a lot of crossover in like just uh, the like meditativeness mm-hmm. of it all too, you know, like all yeah. wrapped up in kind of this like chill you um, know? Like and focusing. You have to focus. on everything. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Um, I, I think the last, the last thing is the search, right? Like in skateboarding, yeah, there's skate parks, but mm-hmm. when you're street skating, you're actually looking for spots, you know, actually shout out to my buddy Halba. He was always the one finding spots. I never found some oh, spots, yeah. but you know, you get out in your car and you drive around yeah. the cities and you're looking for like a sick ass bump to rail or, or a gap or something that looks cool and creative. Yeah, right. And then you go there and then you film a trick and then you, you know, you take a photo of it and you create art and you create yeah. something off of like finding this spot and you kind of keep it secret. 
you know, and then and then it blows up, and then all of a sudden somebody mm-hmm. else is there. So it it it's comparative like that with fly yeah. fishing. You know, you have to find spots. You gotta gotta yeah. search. You know, and um, sometimes keep them secret. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's the comparison. I yeah. love that comparison. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Dude, spot burning, spot burning baby. Yeah. Yeah. I was Not never good at skateboarding. <laughs> Not just not for fly. Fishing. Not just for fly. I guess it's true in in surfing too. You no, know, like man, breaks, breaks. Certain oh, breaks, yeah. certain beaches, certain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, breaks are. Yeah, I mean, very sacred. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like, I mean, very even in snowboarding. I mean, how to get to a, a specific spot that holds snow? You know, it's the same thing too. And I feel like that's a big big reason why a lot of these like you know quote unquote extreme sport dudes end up getting out there and touching fly rods, man, because it's not easy it's super hard really hard mm-hmm. yeah 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 dig it um okay so mario when did you get into guiding like how did you get into guiding what did that so like? um my buddy andrew on this property is where it all came together we used to have these uh we used to have these like fishing parties out here man with my buddy andrew and iggy and all these guys he would rent my buddy Andrew would rent a spot here on the property. He was a guide out here. Now, Andrew's the Andrew is like the definition of like why I started Taco. When you see Andrew, you don't think of a fly fishing guide. You don't think of somebody who is like as fishy as he is. He like doesn't strap his waders up. He sags them. He wears like a like a pro fit hat to the side, like. But he's authentically himself. Like he's from Palmdale. He's from like right outside of LA. It's seriously like the desert, but loves fly fishing. His dad got him into fly fishing. So when I met him, we meshed like so well because, you know, I came from skateboarding. He came from like skateboarding and, and, uh, snowboarding. And so, and also not really giving an F about like what was around, but loved fishing and was very fishy. So he basically became my sensei and and when he would have to guide um he would be like let's go fishing because i'd come out here from the bay area a bunch and stay here and then he would take me out fishing and then when i moved to this property because i moved from the bay area to here um i would be out with him every day he didn't have a client and he showed me how to do it so that was basically in like Mm. 2015 um and then yeah man i mean I, I felt like okay. I got the knowledge from him. Um, he, I was always in his boat. Finally bought a boat. I bought my boat, Olive, which is like my baby. I freaking love her. She's like the bestest thing ever. <laughs> and uh, I bought Olive and I started rowing my friends into, <laughs> into fish and rowing Andrew into fish. And then, um, you know, it was I was living here. I left the Bay Area to come live on the river. Um, I was a remote techie worker, so I was living here and then fishing all the time. And it just, it came really natural to me. I, I actually love teaching. I, I, in my tech jobs, I used to be an instructor for like how to learn how to use these crazy complex software systems. And so I love teaching. I, I've always been pretty good at it. And, um, I've been, I, that's what I did for basically like 13 years in the tech industry. So it was very natural transition to go from tech guy that can teach people like up to 30 people in a room, how to use these complex things to show these people, like how to use these fly fishing rods that are actually very hard to do. It's hard, dude. It's so hard to do. Um, but Andrew was such a great teacher, uh, that I learned a lot of like his patience and the way that he would talk to people. He, he, he's, he's just not like your traditional fly fishing guide. He's just chill and cool. And it was very inspirational for me to say like, well, I want to do that too. You know, like, I I think I, I think I can do that. And he backed it. He was like, you can do it, man, for sure. Um, so basically, man, my, my tech job was sucking my soul, dude. And I, I had to get out of it. Um, I just had to, and so I just said, you know what? I had already created Taco Flyco as a clothing brand. And so, and like a web presence, we already had like these videos out called Trinity Stuperflies. And, and we were making like skate style videos and video blogs and stuff. And it all transitioned into like creating a clothing brand. 
And I'm like, well, I better figure something out. They're going to do a layoff. They're going to lay me off. They told me, we're going to lay you off, dude, probably in a month because you're too expensive for us. And right. the last thing I wanted to do, man, was go back to another co- a tech company and give them <laughs> my soul for another eight years of my life. And like, you know, I'm like, screw it, dude. Like, what yeah. am I, what do I got to lose? Like, here you go. Instagram posts. I'm a god now, dog. Nothing. Like, let's go fishing. Okay. And uh, it, it, it's, that's, that was it, man. It was, you know, I felt like, you know, I didn't go to guide school. Um, I grew up fishing since I was a kid. I'm a fishing junkie. Fly fishing came pretty, pretty easy to me. And of course, fishing with a guide every day, like every other day and every weekend for two years, it's like school. So I learned a lot from him and because of that, I felt like I could do mm-hmm. it. So I made the jump, man. And I, I got all the permits. I got all the insurance. I got everything. Built the website. And um, yeah, that was. Uh, this is my fourth year on the Trinity River guiding out here. So it's been cool. It's crazy. It's trippy. That's awesome, man. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, man. That's a wicked story, though. We like... <clears throat> it's funny you can't like you can go to guide school whatever the fuck that means but like yeah. um you know like what and that teaches you how to tie knots and row a boat which like you know that's good you know if, if i hire a guide and they're in, you know we're in white water i would hope that they know how to row <laughs> <laughs> but other than that it's like what what can a guide school teach you mm-hmm. you've got to fish like you've got to fish the river you're guiding on you have to fish the the area you can't go to school mm-hmm. for that you just have to do it like and you have to have mm-hmm. an apprentice most of the time and it's like <clears throat> you know so it's kind of cool it's it's a great little it's a it's a great story not to mention the stickers the clothing it's fucking rad like mitch you've got a hat <laughs> yeah hell yeah i got a hat yeah thank you for bringing uh, me one <laughs> <laughs> um yeah man thank you i appreciate that and it mean yeah, it means, thank right you. it means a lot for you to say that stuff. And like, um, you know, guide school is, I feel like, you, you know, um, I'm not going to lie, man. Like Taco Flaco has inspired a, a quite a few people to become guides, which is something I'm pretty proud of because the whole thing, like I said before, is that like, you know, um, I want it to be inclusive. I don't want it to be something that's like you have to be this specific type of person to have to, to be able to do this stuff. Like if, it, if, if my journey and my story inspires somebody to become a guide, that's rad, dude. I want them to do it. And I back it. I do suggest going to guide school or befriending a guide <laughs> because, um, you know, those, what they do teach you is, is some things you do need to know if really, if you're not like a well-versed fisher person. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, I, 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 I think I think that it is one of those things too. time on the water, right? You got to know where the fish are at and you got to know where they lie in a specific river and every river is different. Right. So um, being able to learn that from Andrew was uh, too priceless, man. It was it was priceless for sure. Lucky. Yeah, it's dope, man. I think one one thing, too, yeah. is like. Mario, like what, you know, about you, the area you guide, like what makes it special? You know, like, I mean, you're talking, we were talking a lot about it before and how you have this house and everything. And, but like, what to you about it is like unique and, and interesting. So and Trinity and River is, clients. is got this thing, man. I don't know what it is. So in California we have, um, I mean, it's such a big state, right? You've got so many places you can go. Uh, we're up, Right now in, in Lewiston, California, I'm, you know, Northern California. I can yep. drive basically two and a half hours and get to the Oregon border. Uh, it's accessible. So being from the Bay Area and being able to introduce myself to a river that has steelhead, that's one of the draws is like, it's, 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 it's right off the 299 freeway, the whole way down. So you can basically go anywhere pretty much off the road and catch a steelhead. Mm-hmm. Now, the other part is that we are kind of getting into the temperate forests, the rainforest, sorry, like the coastal area. So, so, so if you've watched steelhead videos, you've seen the Eel River, you've seen the Mad River. Um, and then if you know of that area in, in California, that's where like 
the big redwood trees are at and it's green and it's just gnarly, beautiful out there. It's gorgeous. So we're like right outside of it, you know, in the Trinity river. So it's beautiful here. I mean, it's gorgeous. And this poor river has suffered from a lot of things like mining, um, overfishing, uh, like just a lot of things, dude, this, this river has been through a lot and you can tell when you go down it, but when you're rowing down it, man, like it's one of these things, like there's a spot specifically down what I call my home stretch where I come around the corner and I always tell my clients every time, even if they've been with me, I I'm like, this is it. This is my favorite area. Look up, man. Just stop fishing and stare up and just suck it in. And it just like goes, ah, <laughs> it's like, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, man. And it has like this, <laughs> it's just got this, this, this thing about it where it's not a mighty giant river. It's technical to row and it's technical to fish. So there's a lot of trees around and stuff, but it just looks pretty. Now also that's, that's my number one thing is like, I want people to know that like this river is pretty just a float down then you can catch a fish and and what's cool about the trinity is that right. there's a lot of steelhead here and we don't have the we do have big steelhead we don't have the coastal hmm. like megas that are known for like in the um like the smith river area the eel river giant coastal fish um but we do get big fish we're 160 miles up from the ocean here so we're way up here our, but we have a lot of numbers so, you know, those steelhead, if you, yeah, it's cool. If you want to get wow, your first sweet. steelhead, like this is a very good spot to do it. Um, so you got the beauty, you got the accessibility. Yeah. It's, it's okay. There's something about it. That's, that's just got a special draw to me. I mean, I've been to a lot of steelhead places and I don't know. Trinity is going to always be my number one. People always ask me, where's your favorite place to fish? And I'm just like Trinity river, dude, that's always going to be it for sure. Yeah. Does it have a problem? With so we do have two dams or we have dams. You still yes. get a lot of, there are like... two. Um, so we got Trinity yeah. Lake. It's yeah. massive. It's just as big as like Shasta Lake. So if people were to look it up, it's, it's a giant, giant lake. Then it goes into Lewiston Lake. And so there's your mm. two dams right there. Just like anything in California, right? Everything's, everything's dammed up over here. Um, besides the, the Smith river. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's got two dams. So I'm actually like probably only about maybe five, seven miles from the dam where I'm at right now. So it's pretty close. Um, yeah, so it's controlled flows. Okay. Um, I mean, this river at one point was almost depleted from all its steelhead population from, from mining and such. Um, but, uh, it's got, they, they've done a lot of restoration wow. to, to bring the fish back, um, Wild populations are, are thriving. Um, there are hatchery fish here. So we do get hatchery fish. Now there is that whole thing with the hatchery fish and, mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, killing the gene pool and et cetera. But you know what, man? Um, it is what it is. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, we've done it to ourselves. So it's like, you know, uh, if we could, if we can have something out here to like yes. bring it, yeah. economy to these mountain towns and such. I'm all for it, man, for sure, because there's not much to do up here besides, you know, fish and grow weed. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fish. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, yeah, that's, 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 I think that's important to note. It's like, yeah, I, I always keep saying this to people who hate on Great Lakes steelhead. And it's like, you know that the fish yeah. definitely put themselves there. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. like, how can we, you know, put a value? Like we should put a value on stocked fish too, their lives, mm -hmm. right? Because it's like it's their lives, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know. It's not yeah. ours, and so it's it's. I think I think you you hit a good note there, and, and it's like how can we? <clears throat> Certainly, you don't want to deplete the gene pool. I understand the argument. I totally understand it. But like, what can we do once after they're there to maybe protect them and help those fish naturalize mm -hmm. into um, some form of I don't know. Mm -hmm. sustainable population yeah. maybe crazy idea yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know maybe i don't know <laughs> dude I'm, i ain't no biologist so no it's interesting i yeah. mean it's true like you know there's like so many that face it and we we look at like 
the the things that you know like the small stupid shit that's like is that the thing we should be focusing on maybe these huge yeah. dams are the yeah. problem you know like stuff like that um you know, you like, know. Know, it's interesting there's something so romantic to me about california steelhead oh, i don't dude. know what it is like i know yeah. you could you used to be able to catch you know yep all the yep. way down to almost la you know and like what an interesting when you think about the american steelhead you know it's like mm -hmm. you always think about the pacific northwest but mm -hmm. really oh, yeah. it was the whole coast and mm -hmm. how what an interesting thing being able to catch um, steelhead well actually not Nevada. not not the sierra nevadas out here cool, actually yeah. i'm uh, so very cool. yeah oh, we're sorry, out in the cascades the, it's it's the yeah yeah um cascades my but bad. You know we're so f yeah. we're, we're high up here. Um, you know, have you have you guys seen the the movie The Rivers of a Lost Coast? Have you ever seen it? Oh, oh, you guys got it. I don't think it. I've seen it yet. No, The Rivers of Oh yeah, uh, I'm pretty Coast. sure that's what it's called. If one of you guys want to Google it, oh, um, it it's awesome, dude. It's super cool. Yeah. Yep. It, I mean, these guys love steelhead and they love salmon and they talk about the heyday of what California steelheading was. I mean, epic rivers, man, the Russian river right outside of mm. San Francisco was like, you could walk across salmon, you know, 40, 50 years ago, dude. And, and amazing wow, stories wow. of these, these really cool people who were, you know, enjoying that, um, dude, you know, overfishing, logging. They talk about the whole thing that, that, that's right. fucked this place up, dude. It, it it was pretty prolific out here, yeah, yeah. and it's crazy. I mean, yeah. that as a species, we can go in right. like and just ruin something in less than fifty years, <laughs> like just total it. Uh, it's insane. Know. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, for it's any so of your crazy. listeners so and you guys, like, I want I want you guys need to watch that movie. It's cool, and then let's talk about it, dude, sometime because. Yeah, definitely, dude. We'll uh, Rivers of the Lost Coast is super cool. It, it talks about, you know, the history here and, and basically where I'm at right now, um, I could drive three hours and be near coastal waters, you know, um, and obviously there's there's a lot of stuff out there to explore yeah. that's not talked about, that's not published, that you can't find information. And if you want to get it, man, there's there's people, there's a lot of steelhead junkies out here in Cali, man, and they've they've like lost their wives and their jobs and shit just to chase the cromers and so the trinity's got that like <laughs> more accessibility you know you don't have to go um pulverize yourself out there in the uh in the uh in the in the in the, in the cold and wait for that one little window you know of these rivers just blowing out and clearing up for just four days and yeah you know so there's a lot of history here, and that movie will will uh, fill you in on a lot of it. It's really cool, and and one of the guys actually cries in there, dude, because oh, he's like, it. "We ruined it. We ruined it. We just we didn't know what we had, and like we and it's just like you can tell they they were really passionate yeah. about what they what they had here and realized what they did to yeah. to screw it up. <laughs> we we as human beings, you know, yeah, we like to fuck shit up. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's up wild, man. Like and time. I mean to your point, although yeah, I didn't really even like I think us being up here, I never thought about California Steelhead. Neither I right. didn't really know much about that stuff. Yeah. Like I've heard a little bit about it um just from doing this and stuff, but it's cool. I mean and and that you still get like good number runs like yeah, in places it's, where you're it's cool, man. I'm I'm glad to be able to really talk cool. to you guys about it because we didn't get to really I mean we had so much fun in Montana, which Yelma, I wish you were there. <laughs> uh <laughs> I know. I, know, I saw the pictures, and I'm just like, <laughs> I, I I love these what? guys, dude. You know, but we vibe, bro. Yeah. I mean, you would have had uh, two people yeah. scared of grizzlies. I was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, so to be so able to fun. talk to you guys was... about like my watershed, and then talking to you guys about your watershed, it's I'm just stoked for what's ahead for 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 me fishing with you guys and you guys coming out here. I can't wait to host you out here. Oh, and then all three of you are coming. It's got to be all three. I well, can't wait to come to man. It's got to be all three. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, yes. yeah. I'm sleeping on that floor. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm for sleeping sure. on that floor. <laughs> Mar Mar Mario, you, you said you like oh, yeah. you said you like bass, so you know we have some amazing smallmouth yeah. fisheries here. So cool, definitely. Yeah, man. So you know my here. my bass yeah. fishing days yeah. are yeah. surrounded about like bass boats and and like I mean I have a big giant pile of bass rods like in my 
attic, <laughs> but, uh, I was a bass fishing junkie dude and I haven't really pursued bass so much on the fly. Um, we do have really good small fi- mouth fishing out here. Um, actually in Plumas County during the hex hatch, you get big giant smallies. Oh, nice. I would just love to go out oh, amazing. there to go fish for bass with you guys. Like that's what would draw me. I would love to do that, dude. That would be sick. Yes. I'm, I'm totally <laughs> okay. down. Oh yeah. Hundred you know, percent so down. Take, take you up north. Yeah, I'm I'm game, yeah. dude. Yeah, that yeah. sounds awesome, man. So many cool fishing opportunities. And, yeah, yeah, man, I love it. Um, yeah, that's, that's yeah. super rad. Yeah, we'll just um, small month, one day, plus, pike yeah. the next day. And then you, and then you and Yelma can. Yeah, dude, design, I need a new designer, design Yelma. T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> logo says, uh, okay. Oh, there you go, man. <laughs> That is yeah. What Yilma does. Um, yeah, that's super cool. Like, yeah, California's. I've never fished. I've never fished California. Um, I've been to California a bunch of times, but you know that would be. I will say once the one thing I have done fishy wise was was go to Lost Coast yeah. Outfitters, and those guys were pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, they've got a pretty neat yep. shop in in San Fran, and uh, that's when I first heard about California wow, steelhead cool. in a meaningful way, anyway. And yeah. I was always like, wow, what an interesting yeah. thought. You know, thought experiment, oh, yeah. you know, like lots of steelhead them in California. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hollywood steelhead. Yeah. Hollywood steelhead. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Imagine. I love it. At one time. Man. Hollywood yeah. steelhead. That'd be crazy, man. Jeez. That'd be insane. Um, okay, cool. Well, Mario, we do a segment every show where we ask the guests the same five questions. It's called Mitchie's Fishies Five. Um, and it's because it's me asking them and it's just five dumb questions oh. but yeah we're gonna ask you them now all right cool and, cool uh, i i love you that come up with, i believe it's an it's hour called, already um, holy shit i know it goes by no, too fast. i can talk to you guys seriously i just want to like hang out with you guys at least once a week <laughs> we... <laughs> yeah i mean i'd be down i would love to yeah, we, yeah. i think we're just already thinking yeah about yeah just sick. Doing a show on that one movie all right. Yeah. I like Mitch. I like. I like that it's called Mitchy's yeah, Fishy yeah, Five too. I feel like that's actually pretty yeah. cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's Thanks, man. Much appreciated. It's cute as fuck, uh, dude. It's so cute. Mitchy's Fishy Five. Mitchy's Fishy Five. Dude. He's, he's a cute. Dude. He's pretty cute. Look yeah, at him. He's like, oh, he's a cute dude little, right there. Look how cute he is. <laughs> I'm drinking a little pumpkin spice latte. You know? <laughs> he's got a little pumpkin spice latte. Dude, little PSL a cutie, dude. baby. I'm feeling really cute. Um... <laughs> All right, rock and roll. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Number one, Get it. Fishies Five. Oh, First question God. is, uh, what is your favorite fish and why? If you had to pick one favorite fish, what would it be? Dude, number one is steelhead, man. Um, steelhead saved my life. Uh, they saved my life, so... It's still head all the way, baby. Three. Wild. Chromers. Just, just, yeah. just something that uh, looks like an elongated trout. I'm all... I love Steelies, dude. They're my, my favorite. favorite. Oh, man. I dig it. I love it. I love that answer. We're definitely yep. going to get more into that in future shows, too, because, I, yeah, I'd love to just keep talking about Steelhead. Um, no, dude, I love them. But second Mitchie's Fish is it, five. If wait, you, wait. If you could fish anywhere in the world, Oh please, yes, Mario, yes. The the name too is kind of name steel. Oh, it's so metal. It sounds yeah. sick. Steel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Coolest yeah. name for a yeah. fish, man. Steel. Yeah, yeah. Steelhead. It's fucking Steelhead. sick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cooler than like catfish or I mean catfish is kind of cool too, but like you know. Catfish know, is bass, sick. I don't know. Ste- steelhead Suck- is fucking sick. Ew. That's true Sucker actually. Fish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I never thought about these fish names. They're pretty cool. <laughs> I love them. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Uh, okay, number two, Mitch's Fishies 5, is if you could fish anywhere in the world right now, assuming it's like the best time of year to go there and you're going to have the best day fishing ever, where would you go in the world and why? Oh, oh man. man. Oh, wow. wow. Good question. Let's see. Mm. I think if I were to go anywhere in the world to fish. Now, this is obviously, I'm assuming, if I could just <laughs> get to go there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think where would, would you go, out. Mary? Out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it would, <laughs> if it would be as a honestly, man, like I'm thinking of all these destinations, like these things that are yeah, it's through the fly fishing industry. You need to go to get the peacock yeah. bass, you need to go to get team, 
I want to go to yes. Calero Reservoir and catch a freaking bluegill, dude. Like OG back to nice. when I first did it. Nice. Yep. Because yeah. I miss San, yeah. I miss water, San Jose. Yeah, home. I miss San Jose a lot. That would be it, man. Yeah. Like, I don't. When I'm gonna get back there? When I'm gonna be able to do that? But if I can click my fingers, dude. Go to Claire. Yeah. That's a <laughs> That sounds awesome, dude. I love that. Yeah, dude. I that. Now I want to yeah. go catch some bluegill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What makes you say you miss San Jose? Was it just like a home? My family, my home family, friends, food. food. Yeah, yeah, like mm. that's where my heart is yeah. originally from, you know, but the, the mountains were calling and there's always just a big part of San Jose right there. I hear like, that. Yeah. You know, so that'd be fun. Yeah. I'd be yeah. down, you know. Yeah. Golden Dorado, whatever. Hell yeah. I want a bluegill. Yeah. yeah. I hear you, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. These destination trips, you know, like it's it's cool. Like let's do the let's do the local stuff. Let's do the stuff that, you know, means something to us. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's true. Um, I've done that in a long time. All right, number three, Mitchie's Fishies Five is what is your best or favorite fishing memory? Or one of them. One of your best fishing memories ever. Oh god. Okay, one of my favorite fish by far is like me and my crew, we were called the Bastards. With <laughs> and, uh, with a Z. Yeah. No, no that's metal. Z, that's dude. metal. I got a, <laughs> I got a bat, like, dude. And uh, it's <laughs> us, awesome. it's us on our bass boats fishing this one part of Clear Lake in the basically north end where I don't know. All, all of the dead fish of the whole lake go to this area. Clear Lake is this bass fishing mecca lake. It's in Bass Masters and stuff like that. But it was like three boats. Us. And like we're off in the Bay Area. You have to be off the water at like 630 in the Bay Area. Clear Lake, you can all night long. There's no like curfew or whatever. And it's three boats. Right. All like just partying, hanging out, having a good time at night in the middle of the night, fishing till 3 a.m., laughing, catching what? tons of bass, and yep. just, dude, just sick. oh, yeah, all night long in the summer. It was the mandatory mustache, super fun. 20, oh no, 2000 <laughs> dash bat tour. That was it, it dude, that night. That night, <laughs> mandatory was... mustache. That's yeah, dude, it was. <laughs> Really special. That 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 was my favorite fishing memory for sure. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Cool. We <laughs> yeah, gotta fish. Good we gotta fish till the middle of the night, fellas. What the hell are we doing? We're calling it a day at like I know, oh, dude. Fish until 3 oh god, three a.m. Huh? We dude. like cocktails yep. too much. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, man. <laughs> That's like why. That. <laughs> um, Somebody got me a margarita. <laughs> Ooh, I, I had um, I had two last night. Yeah, no special beers. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No special beers last night. No special beers last night. Mm. <laughs> I love those special beers, man. You made those in Montana. They were so good. They were so good. Hey, dude, I gotta like say, that? like, I I could make better ones. I didn't have the best ingredients, so I'm stoked that those ones hyped you up because when you guys, yeah, the the taco experience. Like, you guys are gonna get the best of everything, dude. We're gonna we're gonna have a blast. Are you trying to say that Lincoln, <laughs> that Montana, did. didn't have great Mexican ingredients? <laughs> I'm shocked by. I'm that, shocked, man. We had, good, <laughs> we had good stuff. It's just like you know, it's kind of you know when you cook. I, I need this specific butter, yeah. but this butter will totally. do. So it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. they were still really good, and the company was stuff. amazing. You guys more because those things are pretty darn good. Hell yeah, hell yeah, baby. Um, okay, number four, Mitch's Fishies Five, and I've uh, kind of touched on this a little bit throughout, but it's why do you fly fish? Like, what do you get out of fly fishing? Why do you keep going back out to fly fish? So, fly fishing keeps me sane, man. Um, I'm a, I'm a crazy dude, dude. My brain is going a hundred. Never even realized that. And I was older, I guess, because skateboarding was always there. I lived downtown grab my board and get outside my front door and skate to the bar. Yeah. Skate at night with my friends. And, and then when I got injured, it was just kind of realizing like, 
dude, I'm kind of crazy. Like my brain needs something. Fly fishing saved my life. So it keeps me sane. It keeps me motivated. Like it helps me. Mm. I can't skate anymore as much as I used to and as much as I did. I'm going to try though. Mm -hmm. In 2023, I'm going to. One more skate park filmed. That's my goal. But fly fishing gives me that. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm going to try one more, one more last hurrah. And uh, fly fishing keeps me, keeps me. Saying it, it keeps me, you know, I'm constantly looking around the next corner, dude. It's the best. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And I'm being out. It's grounded. I like that. It's 100%. Just, it's that's it. Yeah. That's awesome. It's a tear jerk. It's a tear jerk. dig. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it really well, is. I know. Yeah. Cause it means so much to like people, like sometimes, yeah. you know, like dude. yourself, like where you, you mm-hmm. made it like your life, you know, like everything. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I dig it. It's awesome, yeah. man. Okay, number five of Mitchie's Fishies Five. Last Mitchie's Fishies Five is. And I'm stoked for this. Answer. I'm stoked for this one. I'm excited to hear what what Mario's gonna say. <laughs> it is what fly pattern represents you best and why. If you were a fly, Mario, what fly would you be? <laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> this thing. I'm like thinking like mop fly around. <laughs> You know, anything, I, I don't know. Um, if there was to be one fly that re- No! So, so fucking close. Like, oh. right before he was going to say it. <laughs> no. If there was one fly that represented... Well, Mario's <laughs> falling off, but he's, I'm expecting, going to call back in, so... Oh my we'll god! A, we'll that take a was short hilarious. second here. That's we'll so take a short funny. break, and uh, <laughs> his internet we'll right was back. just holding on by a thread. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah, you were like, if I was a fly, I would be, and then it just fell out. <laughs> it just fell out, <laughs> and it cut out. Um, awesome. If I was a fly, I was like, which one is the stinkiest fly that there is? But you can't put scent on flies, right? <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah <laughs> dude i i would say oh god this is this is a hard one um dude honestly you know i'm i would say like i've always kind of been like a flamboyant dude like i'm 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 definitely somebody that's like i like to comb my hair when i get a haircut and i like to wear like boots and shit and you know if i could get a sick ass jacket and hit the town yeah. looking dope you know what i mean so I feel like one of the flies yeah. that's like yeah, that is like yeah. you're preaching yeah, to the man. choir yeah, yeah. here, uh, dude. You guys are all fly, dude. You so fly. <laughs> um, <laughs> it would be come it on. Would be, it would be a psycho prince, I think. A psycho prince would be me, dude. But a brown, but a psycho. I don't know what the fuck that is? You don't know what a psycho. Pr- so a psycho prince with a it's a nymph, man. You know, because I have to be a nymph because I started nymphing, well, and it's also oh, yeah, like oh, okay. it's also trick. Oh, it's wait, triggering to people, mm-hmm. you know, because like I've been asked that before. Somebody was like, dude, we want to give you like sunglasses. Just send us an email about like your favorite flies. And I made sure to put like balance leech, bead, psycho prints. <laughs> so I was like, all right, yeah. these are the ones that they weren't my favorite. It was just to I try just... to, you know, trigger them. So, yeah, I yeah. didn't know they were called that. I, I didn't know they had a name. Psycho I, I definitely know this fly. I I've caught yeah. fish, I've caught fish on a blue one, like a blue. <laughs> oh, dude, they got pattern. orange, they got blue. Like there's like a blue. There's psycho. one called the Laker Girl that they have out here. It's like oh. orange and purple. Um, I think I would be like a. That's fucking. I would hilarious. be like a brown, blue, silver oh, psycho yeah. prince. <laughs> kind of like them. I love it. Yeah, I love it. That would work brown, up blue, here silver. for a steelhead. F- yeah. Big time. Oh, Might yeah. have to tie it. Mm-hmm. I like it. That's a dope fly, oh, they're man. killer. I totally like the the reasoning behind it. Yeah. That's awesome. They're killer. Uh, you can also tie them in like Purple. seriously, like tie them in all si- even small, dude. Small works good too. Small and skinny. S- sorry, Mario. Psycho Prince Nymph. Yep. Yeah, it's like a Prince Nymph that's it got lo- like a kick and up. It's- and the majority of them are purple. I'm seeing so. Online, yeah, so you can it's do got like a little purple rain action you, going. You, yeah, <laughs> dude, I love Prince. By the way, 
Uh, I love prints. Um, so you can tie them with all the different types of like UV dubbing. You can do orange UV, you yeah. can do red UV, green UV, um, purple, uh, orange, and uh, um, white are really good. Those are the ones that I usually have around me. Ooh, yep. Yeah. White dubbing. White UV dubbing. And orange. Yeah. White dubbing. Yep. Okay. Yep. They're a killer fly. That's a, that's a, I love yeah. that, man. And the name too, like I'm love pretty, it. I'm love pretty it. crazy, dude. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at, you know, we're pretty crazy. I like it. Yeah, you, you, you and Aldo get get along. Yeah, man. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> love Al, I love yeah, Aldito, dude. Along. He's fucking homie, man. Yeah, Aldito. man. Pollo. <laughs> Aldito. Oh my god. <laughs> Pollo. <laughs> Mario, that was uh, that was awesome, dude. Thank you so much for for calling in and 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 hanging with for us. For sure, uh, man. You know, with your. Uh, with in the midst of your cabin, season, yeah. steelhead cabin life going on, yeah, yeah dude. like really appreciate the chats and and definitely want to do some more shows with you because I think there's just so many things we can talk about. Yeah, know? man, I would and I would shows love in that. person, too. yeah, dude. So I have yeah. a podcast. I want you guys on my podcast. That'd be sick. I'd be stoked. Yeah, what the heck? So Mitch and I, Mitch and I were yeah, talking I about this. We're the... like, we're like, is it his podcast or is it just? Yeah. Not like somebody. It's yeah. just a. Uh, What's your podcast? What's the deets? It's called uh, Anchor Up and Chill. <laughs> What's the deets? Um, I I actually named the podcast off that. after. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's fucking. Yeah, cool. man. I I got when I first started guiding out here. Some guys were bummed out that I was anchored on some one some spot, and I was just like, "What?" So, I decided to name the podcast after like, "Hey, man, I'm just anchor up and chilling, bro." Like, <laughs> whatever. You know, so <laughs> yeah. it's just me just blabbling. I love I love making content. I love making things. My I have to keep busy. So it's just another avenue to promote the brand and talk to people and they can hear about what's going on in my brain and stuff. So, yeah, I'd love to have you guys on. That'd be sick. Yeah. yeah. Love it. That'd be Done. fun, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. would love to do that. Super fun. Sweet. And uh, we'll check out the uh, the film too, and, and the uh, the film about the uh, the the coast steelhead and salmon runs and the history. Of yeah, all man. That. Maybe we could chat about that next time because that sounds like a super. Oh, cool dude, movie. That, that sounds, sounds like, a like lot a, to that would too. be a show worth yeah. itself because I think it's like one of those things. If if yeah. if your listeners haven't seen it or or haven't really learned about the California steelhead like fly fishing culture, it's mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's 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 OG, dude, and. I, I it's not saying like I respect these dudes or anything like that. I'm not like on their jock. It's just it's mm. just that what it was and where where it was at one point in time. These yeah. guys really do talk about like, you know, how f- badly we ruined it. And it's it's a it's a cool reality yeah, right. check, you know, about preserving watersheds and and knowing where we are now and how far we've come to learn how to yeah, that. it's yeah. cool. It's really cool. Yeah, I dig it. That's great, man. Um, last kind of thing is where speaking of your podcast and your brand, where can people find your shit? Um, we're like shameless promotion yeah, yeah. time, man. Like, where are uh, you? <laughs> I'm on the interwebs. Uh, uh, it's Taco Flyco. Um, you can find tacoflyco.com is where my website's at. I got where I guide and all that stuff. The clothing that I'm selling, the stickers that I got. Um, Instagram Taco Flyco. Same with YouTube. I do make videos. Um, the videos are, you know, uh, uh, me and my homies going out fishing and, and then, you know, uh, promoting, of course, mm-hmm. like the type of guiding that I do. And then um, I'm on TikTok, bro. I just started one. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. About time, man. Yeah, I know, dude. About time. I know. I got to get on that young, that young person shit. They, everyone that's young, dude, is a TikToker. So, um, yeah, man. Taco Flacco. Look it up online. I love it. I love it. I'm trying to yeah, get we'll put links here. to all. We'll put links to everything in the show notes too. And um, yeah, if you're not following Mario on social, go follow him. He's got great Thanks, content. Man. And uh, Taco, we love, I love you. It too, thank guys. you so much for coming hey, on, man. Like it was so much. Love yeah. you, yeah, dude. Great and to meet you. And, and super finally, fun great. To yeah, Yoma. Yeah. Stoked great yeah, things. Dude. Seriously, me too. Stoked for yeah. more. Stoked for more. I think the first yeah. thing I think the first thing Aldo said when he got back is like, "You got to meet this guy." <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, we we had a blast, <laughs> dude. No, so yeah. much laughing. Yeah. Oh my god, that I trip! It. I was wrecked that trip, and uh, I had a blast. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you too. so much, <laughs> guys, fun. for letting me get on the show. I'm super pumped, Thanks, dude. Mario, yeah. Mario. yeah, of course. All right, boys. All right, have a good dude. Well, that was Mario. He is a heck of a guy. 
Yeah, I mean, there's one thing we didn't really mention because it's kind of yeah. weird with matching him on the floor. That guy can f- really fish. Oh, <laughs> super fishy. Like, yeah. dialed. He's, you know, we got to spend a week with him in Montana fishing. And honestly, I learned a lot from just watching him fish, like, uh, like in terms of casting and yeah. how to, like, really, I don't eh? know, manage my line better and how to hey, double haul fishy. a little bit nice. better. And yeah, especially good. double hauling indicator rigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, just, just watching him fish. I was like, oh. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah, the whole thing, the whole California thing is so interesting to me. Like, I don't, I don't know I why. Know, I feel you. No, but I, I just, it just is. Like, well, it's so just, far from what well, you we know, you know, like we don't yeah. know anything about California fishing because we, it's not how we grew up, you know, we're so far away. So it's like, yeah, when they talk about steelhead, it's like there, you never hear about it, which yeah. maybe like they're, that's a thing they're trying to like, yeah. <laughs> don't tell anyone, go to the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. It's like, All right. I mean, the thing that I always heard about with, you know, California fly fishers was like, or like the unique aspect was like, you know, going up into the high mountains for golden trout, right? Mm-hmm. That was always like something I would read about. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Golden trout. I know. That's what I would, I would read about that in Cali too. And like, that's the only association I ever had with California fly fishing, the mountains and, and yeah, sure. Like trout in the mountains and stuff like that, but golden trout. <laughs> yeah. That's that, that's like a Cali thing to me, but the coast, it's like, I got to watch this, this film. Yeah, as a, yeah. as a, as a steelhead man, Mitch, you yeah. are a steelhead man. <laughs> I is. am, and I would love to go out there and I fish the steelhead out steelhead there. It sounds cool. Man. It's cool to hear about a steelhead fishery with numbers. Um, very interesting. I know smaller fish, but he's like, we've got a lot of, of fish, and smaller is probably still like six pound trout, right? Like still pretty, probably really nice fish. Yeah, I don't see so, a problem with that. No, I say, gosh, I, gosh. Yeah. Speaking um, of steelheading, Gilma, you went out yesterday. Fishing was good. Um, Josh got into a few, but didn't uh, land any. Um, oh, wow, you wa- got into some fish. We, we got into one. I didn't want to make it to- <laughs> totally. I, I didn't want to make it totally negative because the water levels are really low. Yeah, the water was super clear. We need rain. We yeah, need rain. Not really bad. We need dish right now. Exactly. So it was it was tough. I didn't catch anything. My buddy Jason didn't catch anything. Um, nice. But he was, you know, he just wanted to get out, and I just wanted to give him like the premium experience versus just us, you know, swinging the grand. And you know, he's 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 still a beginner, so I thought. Sorry, are we not the premium experience? Guess not. I don't Guess know. We don't have a drift. Slamming me lately a lot. We don't like, have a drift boat. We will. We I put know, a depo- like, We put a deposit on one. I know, but in the present, you don't want to walk and wade with me. Oh, you don't want to go to the Grand River. Yeah, Yuma Come hates on. us now. Everybody listening, everybody Yuma just needs us, to he's know Yuma just friends. he's like hates he can't us. Can't stop now. talking about this Josh guy. <laughs> Josh, this whoever Josh he that. is. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Josh. We love you. We love um, you, Josh, and thanks for rowing Yuma on around. Yeah, yeah. and to, we were we were right behind Matt and Nick. Uh, oh, nice. They were hit, hitting the holes before us, and they caught a few. So right. you know, that just... probably has something to do with it. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. But uh, that's not the point. It was just to get out there and one day. Yeah, it was fun. You had a fun day on the water. Well, yeah. you know the, you know we definitely need rain, but I mean at least if, you know you're you're on a boat all day not catching fish, it was a pretty nice day to do that. Fall oh, yeah. colors. Yeah, it's really warmth, beautiful weather. You know. Yeah, we were scary it was awesome. weather. Yeah. It's a little too nice out. It's a, yeah, it's almost like the mm-hmm. world is ending. Like the world's <laughs> melting. The world well, is dying. Uh, it's Halloween and. Uh, Boo. Uh, can you see anybody trick or treating outside your window there? Although you know, uh, we got a lot of kiddos last year. And, yeah, uh, it's funny. I say we need rain. It's literally raining right now. It hasn't yeah. rained for a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see but then it it's rains great. on <laughs> Halloween rain. for the kids. Yeah. Um, not yet, but not yet. you know, it's still bright out though. So. We've got, I've got a whole thing of treats and awesome. Trying to you know, I'm just waiting. Just waiting. Although, you got a new dog. Can we announce that? Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna go. I was actually gonna go get her. <laughs> go get her. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Aldo got a new pupperino, and uh, this is a uh, look at that water. That look at that be. watershed, Mitch. Look at that Man, that's steelhead. Great. That's pretty little... nice. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, Check out the YouTube, and you can see uh, Yelma ah. show me pictures of steelhead. <laughs> There's the pup. Look at this. What do we got Whoa. here? Aldo's getting his headphones on, but Aldo, please introduce your new pooch to the SoFly community. Who do we got here? We've got Frankie. So Frankie. whoever's on on YouTube right now, we got little sweet Frankie. So cute. Blue healer. Yep. Uh, 
and Rottweiler mix. Yep. Uh-huh. Whoa, he's newest, loyal and smart. This is the newest member of SoFly. There you go. <laughs> she's gonna how how old is, is Frankie? Frankie was born on September 1st, and she's a rescue from Kingston, Ontario. September Aww. 1st. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, this year? Yeah, yeah two months old. It's a, it's, it's a puppy. Look it's a puppy. At it. Look at it. Oh, Don't my God. It. It's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> this year? Are you not? Like, you are you can see the dog, man. You know it's a brand new pooch to the world. Where'd you get crazy. that cat, man? <laughs> yeah, no, that was a joke I made earlier. Don't try I to know. steal my joke. Come on. Uh, I already did steal it. That's a small horse. Good <laughs> Lord. But, yes, Frankie's very sweet. We had our first night together last night. We slept. Yeah. Does she smell like Mitch? Well, she smells actually really good. Like, um, the rescue, you know, bathed. Nice. Oh. There you go. She to go down. Okay. What's she say? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fuck, Ness. We got a Although, can I, ask, can I ask you another Push question about your pooch there? Is it going to grow to be medium size, large size? What are we talking here? We're talking about, like, a medium size 40 to 50 pounder, bud. Oh. Nice. Yeah, that's a fly fishing dog right there. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. Heck yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll, uh, you know, we'll take cool. her on the river when she's good and ready and has all her shots and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Very exciting. Very cool. Very exciting. Very exciting. Newest member <clears throat> of the SoFly crew. Make some Frankie shirts. What do you think of that? Yeah, we should We should get Bruce on the river and Bruce and Frankie together. We should make <laughs> Frankie a little SoFly hoodie. Oh, my God. Yo. Get him, make him a little hoodie. Put him on. <laughs> Walk her around with a little hoodie on. Keep saying him. It's her. I want to get a little our little SoFly bandana. Yeah, that's cool. There's so many. There's so many good clothing. Uh, oh my god, I was in the dog. I, this is going to turn into a dog podcast real quick. But welcome to Dogcast. Welcome to so <laughs> so dog. dogs. Dogfly. Welcome to Dogfly. It's kind of a cool name. <laughs> anyway, I was buying shit at the store for her, and I was yeah. just like, I could like go bankrupt in here right now. <laughs> I was no, I like, know. I'll just buy everything, you know. Halloween costumes right now because it's how it's October thirty first. She could be a little skeleton or something. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, I could have really gone ham, but no, it's really yeah. exciting. Um, Bree and I are stoked. We're uh, the plan was to always get a rescue. We've fostered before, and yeah, I wasn't planning on getting a puppy, but when I saw this litter, I was like, and honestly, yeah. to be honest, Casey and Kayla had a lot to do with it. After meeting yeah, Juniper, Juniper and seeing you know the Juniper. si- Ju- Juniper's size and her temperament, yeah. Such a sweet I was dog, yeah. really inspirational. I was like. Yeah, and, and Rottweilers are Rottweilers are wicked too. Like, so that just that that mashup of you know the it's it's awesome, and the fact that you can still rescue is great. You know, because I think that's the that's the way to do it. Rottweilers are super smart. Yeah, yeah. super smart. Well, you know, she's pretty. I love Rottweilers. Yeah, me too. I do. Healers There's like, it just loves just. I love so, dogs. Yeah, dogs are awesome. I think it's Frankie's very cute. Frankie's very cute, you. and I, you know, hopefully she doesn't chew the cork off all of our rods one day. She probably will, but you know what? That's just the way it goes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> That's a fishing rod. It's the way it goes. That's just life. That's just the spice of life. Um, um, well, guys, what do we have going on in between now and the next episode? Well, between now and the next episode, I don't know, but one should oh. we? One well, thing we are. You, us three oh. are going out, and Adis, we're going to go out. Yeah, I mean, weeks, we'll try so. and catch a fish. Yeah, we'll definitely go out and try to hit the river, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, and we'll we're gonna be uh, well the next episode we're gonna be going out fishing, um, you know, with uh, Eric Lund, owner and operator of Reston Gummy Launch. We're gonna hit the Maitland, but that's like November nineteenth. So, if you haven't yet, we put out um, a banging video. Mitch, really good job on the edit, by the way. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, uh, so fly about our second YouTube. trip to Esnagami, but it, this was twenty twenty one. So. We were a little yeah. uh, delayed on the release there. <laughs> yeah, but, Space uh, Mountain, because we did two back-to-back trips. We were a little trips, delayed. You know? Space but um, <laughs> the, it was worth the wait, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, uh, it's a, it was a fun trip. And we if you haven't seen the video, go check it out on our YouTube, because it's like got some really cool fishing stuff in there. I mean, like first of all, we caught a lot of pike. We caught a lot of walleye. We caught a lot of brook trout. And it, they're really interesting fish up there, because it's it's actually like an Arctic watershed, like Estangami River. And the lake itself is like obviously super remote and beautiful and rugged, so those fish are just... They're just really cool, and we yeah. got a ton of them, and we and got lots of clips of them. <clears throat> and we got walleye um, and poppers, which is crazy. We got walleye and poppers. Yeah. And uh, so a lot of interesting of things have we got to see um, uh, Baptiste Jacobs' cabin, which was kind of Eric's mentor, indigenous uh, guide in the area, was a mentor in the area, and yep. that was cool. It's almost like you know peeling back another layer of the onion. Yeah. Mm. The first yeah. time we went, we we're like, "Whoa, what's this? What's that? What's the second time? We're like, "Okay, I know what this is, but." Can we go deeper? <laughs> yeah, let's go deeper on the Esnagami, story of Esnagami. So, 
check it out. And um, hey, if you like it, leave us a little comment because we love a good little comment. Don't so, you know, forget to are, comment, like, and subscribe. People are watching. I like to have, hear your messages. But um, yeah, I think one thing we are talking about, though, and this is just like maybe uh, as as Halloween wraps up here on October 31st, I'm starting to think about the holidays. And I don't know, we've been talking about maybe doing like a SoFly holiday party, kind of like we've done for Midsummer and Trout Opener. So keep listening because we might be doing like a big old holiday party in Toronto. Yeah, I'm you know? super down. I mean, yeah. I'm still why not? Why not wrap the year up? You know, with all of our friends. We've had some really good times. Chart opener social was awesome. Midsummer was great. We've raised like a lot of money for the Credit River. Six grand. Um, yeah, and like people are coming out almost having fun. Grand. Yeah, like it's it's almost. super super pretty fun. Cool. Fifty seven uh, hundred dollars. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. It's called it's six grand. Good. And that's uh, just because people in the community are coming out and buying uh, my ties and donating to the cause. So. Thank mm-hmm. you. And I think the holiday season is, if it's anything, it's a great time to just get together and drink more Mai Tais, maybe 15 <laughs> and, uh, or not, or just, you know, come have a, have a non-alcoholic beverage. And, I kind of uh, just want to live at, at Miracle. I just love the lights. Sorry, yeah, Mitch, I cut that. you off. Yeah, Miracle's opening. Shout out to Miracle. Come and see, yeah. come and see Aldo uh, at Miracle, uh, November 18th. It opens. This little ad for Miracle. <laughs> but um, Well, yeah. maybe we'll have our party at Miracle. That would be super cool. And um, I actually Somehow. got the hol- I bought that holiday backdrop, guys, and mm. it came in, and it's pretty cool. It's really big, and uh, so we can set oh, that shit. up. We're gonna make nice. some more holiday content for our YouTube. So yeah, I think we're gonna do out. the twelve days of Fishmas, which is yeah. uh, you know a lot of bloggers do Vlogmas. We're not gonna do that, but we are gonna do um, some <clears throat> YouTube yes. content around yeah. Christmas, and so look 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 t- look for that in December. Yeah. And then, yeah, stay tuned on the holiday party because we're, we're going to try to do something. And uh, I think we can have a big old fishy bash, raise some more money for the credit and go into the new year. Feeling good. Love um, it. Well, that's everything, I think, for today. And uh, thanks again, Mary, for coming on the show. Super fun. And if there is any internet laggy stuff going on in the recording that you can hear or see on YouTube, Mary was calling in from a shack in Steelhead country. You know, his internet was not great. But we... Uh, I think we did. Uh, I think we pulled together, and uh, so yeah. yeah. And you know what? Of that. <clears throat> That's pretty freaking cool. So That's super cool. And it won't I be know. the last time we have Mary on the show. So no, mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah. Stay tuned for that. But uh, thank you so much for listening, everybody. And uh, that's it for me, Mitch uh, Aldo. Uh, bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Yep. Bye, everyone. Thanks for listening. Take care. <laughs> Comb your hair. <laughs>